Uh-huh. All right, guys, this is the Taylor Swift commentary channel where we talk nothing but <laughs> Taylor Swift. No, just kidding. But it is uh-huh. it is interesting how the things how the news cycle works, where we're going to talk about Taylor Swift's karma video. And then everyone's sending this, this article about that Taylor Swift fans are experiencing amnesia as or amnesia, as I would call it, with, with air quotes yeah. after after her concerts. Brian, when did you hear about this story? And tell me what the heck you think about it. Yeah, so it... (laughs) It's comical when I read that article. I had a lot of people sending me that article too. And it was just like, what, like, okay, people know people that are in the world of praying off demons are very much aware of the amnesia effect. Okay. So like when, when people get possessed or demon possessed, or when we're praying demons off of people, this is kind of a, a weird area guys that not a lot of people are exposed to, but like when we pray demons off people, sometimes the people will not remember anything that happened. Okay, it's a common effect when a demonic spirit is present or in you that it that it wipes your memory. And I've actually been in the room praying for people where there was two individuals in the room and one of the they brought their friend over and they didn't realize how demon possessed or demon oppressed or possessed is not the best term, guys. Side note. Um, So anyways, demonized their friend was the demon started talking through their friend and speaking ancient Hebrew and like, just was like, it was insane. But he at one point touched the friend who brought him over. And when he touched the friend who brought him over, who the friend who brought him over was like in shock, witnessing his friend, like start speaking this ancient demonic language. And he was just like, like manifesting and like talking super evil. It was like nothing he'd ever seen before. He was like watching his friend in shock. Well, his, the demon possessed guy touched my friend touched our mutual friend and like boop went like this and the guy our mutual friend's memory just went blank and he like stared like and afterwards he remembered everything that happened he remembered him calling out personal things about me and other people in the room when this is right in the beginning and he remembered all this stuff but he my friend when i as soon as the next day came i went to talk to him more about how our how the guy was doing and if he had heard anything gone the whole memory of the entire event gone from his memory so i don't i don't know what it is but demonic spirits have a a tendency to wipe your memory to wipe other people's memories that aren't christians or saved or protected there is an effect that they have on literally blanking out people's minds well yeah well you know what before we get too far into it let me i'm going to read some of the article just to see but let's just see, like, we're going to read it for what it is. And then obviously yeah. we're going to have our commentary on this thing, but I'm going to, I'm reading from, uh, there's a few, put it this way. Like you Google Taylor Swift concert right now, and you're going to get several, this is like, these are the news stories out right now, which is fascinating. Cause obviously we, we've been talking about her. Yeah. And so, so I'm going to read from insider. And so the headline is Taylor Swift fans say they're suffering from post concert amnesia. After getting too excited during the singer's era. <laughs> wow. I was too excited. I just forgot everything. Okay. All right. That 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 right there I want to know is like when when people get excited in music, guys, you don't understand how spells work. But when you start to understand witchcraft and spelling and uh, these type of effects, when you come into agreement with a song and you start to feel it and you're like, yeah, this is the song. A lot of times that's the moment that the demon has entered you and you're completely unaware of it. That's how magic yeah. and spelling works. Well, it's it's interesting because of course, like mm. if, if if I if some if I had a friend even today, like especially a while ago, like back back in my little more wild days, they'd have been like, that concert was great, but I hardly remember anything. I'd be like, okay, so how much did you drink? How what would you would right? you do, like what did you smoke that night? How much did you smoke? And it's like, <sighs> but these like Put it this way, young kids. I'll, I'll read. I'll read through the article, and th- there's no mention of drugs or alcohol in this. So it's like, wow. I mean, so like, I, you know, had a, I've had a beer or two at a concert, and I've had quite a few. And I, and obviously, there's times where I couldn't, I couldn't remember stuff. 
but I've got pretty inebriated and remembered every song, mm -hmm. probably because I was singing mm -hmm. every word of it. But like this, what, what's interesting is before I even get into the article, it's like, is how it's almost explained away as normal. And I think that's, that's obviously disturbing, like talk about fake news, but I'll, I'll, I'll actually <laughs> read this thing. It says, yeah. hold on mm -hmm. to the memories. They will hold on to you, sings Taylor Swift. But for some Swift mm -hmm. Swifties, it has become difficult to hold on to memories of her Eras tour. Fans are coming forward to admit that they are suffering from post-concert amnesia. It's like an out-of-body experience, oh as, as though it didn't so happen much. to me, Gettysburg fan Nicole Boz told Time. Yet I know it did happen because my bank account took out $950 to cover the ticket. Wow. Nine, like, oh my gosh, there's so nine, many things you just nine, said. Nine, like, they uh, said he can't remember it. Like, yeah, and, it, and it, what you just said, it was like, hold on to the memories. They will hold on to you. Oh, oh, will they? Yeah, like, they, or, the or demons the, will hold no, on to you. Yeah, is, is that the memory holding on mm -hmm. to you or is it mm -hmm. something else? Okay, it says, it says mm -hmm. others have been taking to Reddit to share their guilt at not being able to recollect crucial moments at the Swift, at Swift's concert. With some saying they felt almost as if they were disassociating from the experience. I went to the Arlington show a few weeks back and I honestly cannot remember most of the concert wrote one Swifty on Reddit. I know wow. I was there, but mm -hmm. it feels like I was in a dream at another. Okay, Is hold it, on, hold on. The, the, like, like the dream state in the astral plane, when people leave your body, a lot of times this is the this is the state of hypnosis guys this is the state this is the hypnotic induction state okay this is also the state where your soul becomes untethered from your body and you actually start to participate demons come in and influence your body and you participate in rituals that you're un unbeknownst to yourself you're participating in rituals things i would say to like check people that went to the concert like did you have like weird cuts on your body afterwards that you're like how'd that get there because these are things demons will like cut people and use like blood rituals like they'll take over your body cut your arm cut your hand cut your legs and they'll do like weird things to your body when you're out of it and you're not aware of this kind of thing so a lot of people will come to and be like how do i get these cuts on me like it's a bloodletting ritual that's what it is and i'm pretty sure judging by some of the videos of the taylor swift thing there was bloodletting rituals kind of crazy stuff going on on stage anyways yeah well you know it's interesting mm -hmm. how how this how we even decided to do this it's like i mm -hmm. i some, some people were sending it to me and i didn't know they were sending it to brian but yeah. I, I mm -hmm. was doing some, you know, obviously I, you know, I'm, I'm aware enough about the demons and kind of like th these kind of things, but I was going to make a reel. And I was like, you know what? I, so I knew, I knew it was the demonic experience that the, it was like the demons has kind of like gone into these people. And that's why it's like, they're the muse. So it's like, they don't remember it because they weren't there anymore. Like they were gone. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting. It's almost like, it's almost like the demon had pushed them out of their own body. That's why they could kind of, they could kind of see themselves, but they couldn't. They were a muse. Yep. It's like, you know, what's it, you know, it's mm -hmm. totally fascinating is mm -hmm. in uh, that crazy Gravity Falls thing where I'd say like, it's like the Illuminati pyramid, Bill Cipher. He gets the kid to sell his soul. And it's like, then he, he's like, he's like, he's like, all I want is a puppet. And then he's like, and he's like, the, but the puppet was him. So he pulls, he like literally pulls his soul out of his body and then enters him. Obviously, then he gets like the snake eyes and then the, mm -hmm. and the, and the kid, you know, the kid is like a ghost looking at his body, kind of terrified as the as the demon throws him down the stairs and does all kinds of crazy stuff. And it's like, that's that's oh my gosh, I didn't know that that was in the cartoon, but that yeah, is I'll to, I'll exactly. To show you that. But but right, so like mm -hmm. what what I what I understand is that that obviously this is not this is not normal. But what what mm -hmm. I find fascinating, what Brian said is like when you start to look into this Taylor Swift concerts, we already showed you the video. I mean. Look, the video starts off with the swirl, with this magic swirl, a hypnotic swirl, and they show butterflies. I mean, I can't help but think that like this has something to do with like MK Ultra is real, guys. Yep. Go look it up. This yeah. is obviously yeah. Freedom of Information Act shows you all the things they were doing <laughs> to influence. Project people. Monarch is real. Yeah, and so and so obviously mm -hmm. Taylor Swift. This has been done to her, and now it's kind of yeah. like, it's kind of like the the the, the mm -hmm. abuse becomes mm -hmm. the abuser to her Swifties. That's that's something I really wanted to point out as well, is that a lot of people might be thinking we're attacking Taylor Swift, but the reality is like Taylor Swift is probably I feel bad for her to be completely yeah. honest. Like I'm not looking at Taylor Swift and being like, she's evil, guys. It's not her like she's probably not even fully control of her body or aware of the things that have happened to her. In fact, if Taylor Swift watches this video, 
I feel bad for you and call me up. I'll pray for you. Like for reals, like, like there's probably been occult things done to Taylor Swift Absolutely. on a level uh, that is, that is blocked out of her memory. Okay. It's blocked out of her own memory. She's not even aware that things have happened to her. She's probably been terrible things like rape and terrible stuff has probably happened to her sacrifice and lots of demonic occult things have happened to Taylor Swift. She has got no recollection of it. Probably in some cases, some of it, some of them, the people do remember it. Some cases people have no recollection whatsoever what the demon has done with the person's body once they're entered it. And so like, we don't know what has happened to Taylor Swift. And I feel, I feel really, really bad for her. And we need to pray for Taylor Swift, honestly, yeah, amen. and pray that point. she has like, um, like revelation and she wakes up from the stuff that's involving her because she's not aware. She's not aware that what she's doing is participating in rituals. In fact, the concerts and the music videos she's making things she's doing, she probably thinks it's her own creativity. She has no yeah. clue that she's probably involved in high level occult stuff, high level occult magic, and she's completely demonized. And it's yeah. probably something that takes over her body that she can't control. And it's the same thing you see with like Kanye West. And that's a whole nother thing. But yeah, right. that's why well, you yeah. see two Kanye's. Right. I mean, that's the whole thing where you, you have the alter mm -hmm. egos, like the the, mm -hmm. the Beyonce and, and Sasha Fierce, where it's like, yep. but it's it's mm -hmm. sort of interesting, as we just pointed out in the Karma video, there's all this up and down duality, light and dark, where it's like, I think that's why, like, w when you realize this is the religion, guys, and that's why they're, you know, you, you really think about it. If they're going by their religion, this is okay to do what they do, you know, because it's like, because it's kind of like, that if I do this bad thing, you know what? I'm going to make up for it by doing good things too. And it's like, that's why they're mm -hmm. always involved in some kind of charity. They're doing good things, but it's like, right. So they, they justify it where it's like, well, you know what? They believe in the yin and the yang where like, mm -hmm. there's a little bit of dark in the light and there's, and there's a little bit of light in the dark. And obviously when they serve the God, they do, it's like, do what thou wilt. So, I mean, they, they believe it, what they're doing is okay. And obviously in God's eyes, we can't make up for the bad we can we do. We only, only, only God's grace and, and Jesus' blood can can cleanse us of that. And obviously, it was a great point, Brian, is that, that yes, we do not we don't hate Taylor Swift. We love Taylor Swift, and obviously, mm -hmm. she needs this message more than anyone. Is like that. Hey, whatever you've done, whatever has happened, you can still come home. That's the prodigal son story. You can still come home. Mm -hmm. You can still be forgiven. Yes. And amen. you need it and delivered. And she needs deliverance for sure, probably. I'll tell you One, that much. Yeah, 100%. There's things, things will probably come out of her screaming. I don't even know, man. But, but yeah, let, let, let me let me look a little bit into it when it was saying that. Uh, yeah, finish reading that. Let's, let's read when it said. Um, I'm going to I want to go jump over to the BBC article, which I found <laughs> abso absolutely ridiculous. I'm like, this is this is mm -hmm. like I said, this is fake news right here. What you've seen right here when it says. It says, psychologists say emotions and time may be behind the phenomenon. It says, from out-of-body wow. experiences to entering dreamlike state, Swift fans or Swifties, as they prefer to be known, have taken to social media in recent days to reveal the guilt as of not being able to remember key moments of the air store. Is it wow. amnesia? Amnesia can be quite a serious symptom referring to loss of memories, mm -hmm. experiences, information. But Dr. Michelle Phillips, a senior lecturer in music psychology... Mm -hmm. Like guys, this is like this is like this person <laughs> is this person's called doctor. Wow, like, you just remember that. Remember, from, oh, they're official <laughs> from Royal North <laughs> Doctor, like Greta Thunberg. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Royal Northern College of Music says the idea of post-concert amnesia is not as scary as it sounds. It will rarely be a case that fans have absolutely no memory of being at the concert. In fact, it's likely one of the things they remember attending for the rest of their lives, says Doctor Phillips. It's simply that they uh -huh. encode some aspects of the event in memory and not others. Okay, so the encoding in your memories, guys, is that's a very real thing. Like there is parts and blocks in your memory that are cell blocks that are that get divided when you go through trauma and experiences. And people that have had traumatic things happen to them, like let's say like a really bad experience of, you know, seeing somebody die right in front of you or being raped or whatever terrible experience happens to you. Um, when that happens, like the trauma in your mind, in order to keep you sane, will divide cell blocks of your mind. It will it will section off parts of your mind and it will store the memory in those broken off parts of your of your mind. And it will never, ever, ever touch them. It will never go to you. And so like triggers, triggers is actually a real thing with people that have trauma like this, not the stupid mm -hmm. triggers that they actually 
triggers that they'd use today is just like dumb. Like, oh, you said this and it's triggering me. That's not a real condition of trigger. A real trigger is when you see somebody that's like wearing the same shirt and looks like the same person that did the horrible thing to you. And it, and it suddenly your memory starts to go into the cell blocks of the trauma. And all of a sudden it accesses that, that cell block and you go, and what happens is you'll go into a hypnotic state. You won't even be in your body. Oh, it's not like you'll get offended. You'll just go, you'll just shut down. Brian, you got to listen to this part, right? It says, yeah, it says, whether it's listening to your wedding song or playing your breakup anthem on repeat, music is an art form that has the power oh. to transform you back to a particular time in your life. So Swifties worried about have, for, having forgotten bits of the show. Listening to a set list again might make all those memories come flooding back. How about that? Where it's like, talk about like, mm. like that, that is mm. like what they talk about in MK Ultra, where it's like, they program this thing by this repeating thing going in your head. And it's like, these people don't know that they're programmed until like, it's like mm. the trigger where it happens. And it's like, you're like, you're like, you're switched on now. And it's yep. like, mm. you're, you're right back to that spot mm. where it's like, guess what? When you could, when you couldn't remember it, you don't want to go back to that place where you couldn't remember because it wasn't you anymore. Like that's the whole yeah. point. It's going to bring, mm -hmm. it's going to bring a different memory back. It's going to bring the memory back of some old ancient spirit. Yeah. The, and, and it's an altered state of mind. And really people think like MK ultra, Oh, it's, Oh, it's not real. It's real. I don't know. MK ultra, whatever. Okay. If you don't think it's real, go watch Darren Brown hypnotist. Okay. Watch videos from that guy. I, I like go watch him like right now. Type in Darren Brown hypnosis. He has a show even on Netflix. You can watch it and it will change your perspective on he t actually does a test to see if he can hypnotize somebody to kill someone and they do it. Okay. They, he actually does it with a fake. He doesn't know that the guns like got a blank bullet, but they do this and they respond to it. So like the, it's hypnosis is very real, but people don't understand what hypnosis is. See, it's like you're going into that divided part of your mind. And, and in that divided part of your mind, you're more susceptible because there's hate, anger, aggression, pain, trauma, and demons can take advantage of that part of you. And so oh. demons will take that control of that divided mind. So you go into it and then it ain't you anymore. Like you think yeah. it's you, mm -hmm. but it's not. Well, that's like the, uh, mm -hmm. it's interesting when you read more about mm -hmm. the MK Ultra is that not everyone's susceptible to it. Like obviously there's, well, no. they're, they're probably mm -hmm. to degrees, probably everybody is a little bit, but like, but obviously not everyone was fit for the program where that obviously would figure out how to get rid of people, certain people. So like, so that's why like you could say, well, I went to a Taylor, Taylor Swift concert and I didn't, I didn't have any problems. Yeah. Well, obviously not everybody mm -hmm. can be programmed like that, but there's, but when you take like, I mean, who knows how many people go to a Taylor Swift concert on, on this tour? Like, so how many yeah. people, mm -hmm. how many people are being influenced that kind of way? And obviously people are susceptible to this kind of things, probably bringing their own demons to this concert when it's like, mm -hmm, talk mm -hmm. about when, and here, and here we should get into this was like, we should not be surprised by anything now. Like we just saw that, that video where it's like deep occult messages, you know, false gods, satanic messages. But of course I had to go do my research before I was going to make a video about this. And I started to watch some, and I've seen, you know, I've seen the clips kind of just here and there about the Taylor Swift concerts. But man, I was surprised because I've seen some I've yeah. seen some stuff and it's like, mm -hmm. I think that this is what people don't realize. They probably don't realize what they're getting when they go see a Taylor Swift show, because oh. it's like because like yeah. what, what I what I witnessed was her mm -hmm. face distorting, mm -hmm. her eyes looking super evil. And I mean, and there's that song Willow where she's like, it's literally like these these like kind of druid type priests, priestesses, witches doing this circles they got crystal mm -hmm. balls she's doing all kinds of strange things with her hands like the light mm -hmm. the symbols mm -hmm. and stuff like i said guys you don't mm -hmm. know it but you showed you paid money to see a concert what you got was you were invited to be at a ritual a, a yep. ritual of witchcraft was happening mm -hmm. and guess what you don't understand it taylor swift probably doesn't even understand what she's doing the demons are the only ones there who understand it and I think that, like I said, we, we don't know the results of this stuff, but it's like, gosh, that is that is frightening that so many people are that deceived. Like, and, and, the, yeah. and what's what mm -hmm. I said was, was the most sickening thing is that Taylor Swift is presented as this innocent bubblegum, you know, like little country girl. First of all, mm -hmm. that was a long time ago, a long oh, time, a yeah, long time ago. And people and people and people are bringing. And I said the thing, the real heartbreaking thing is, I know that so many people say. 
oh, I got my daughter to, you know, it's like I, I got my little yep. young daughter mm -hmm. and I brought her to the show, mm -hmm. having no idea that you are literally bringing your, your child to, to, to a, a ritual. Yeah. yeah and, and there's the two things I want to say to that is that, that based on the ritual that is being performed, like the reason why some people are more susceptible and less susceptible usually has to do with how much trauma has happened to you as a child. Okay. Or as, or even as an adult in some cases. So like if there was really bad trauma happened to you, then something in Taylor Swift's songs, what she's doing, something about that is obviously going, you're going into that trauma forgotten mind space because she's triggering all these emotions when she's saying these things like, I hate my boyfriend and blah, blah, blah. Mm. And it's, it's pulling into these emotional states that are accessing that part of your mind. So if you don't have a lot of trauma, then you wouldn't be a good candidate for MK ultra. Okay. Because mm. it requires you to divide your mind. It's also the reason why people with a lot of trauma are not usually good candidates for hypnosis. That's actually one of the, one of the things that people aren't aware of, but the more trauma you have, the more susceptible you will be to <laughs> hypnosis in the same sense. But also when it comes to the, the innocence, this is very important. And I, and I and I'm going to make, I was going to make a video talking about this specifically because the more innocent a person is, that's why you see these Disney stars get really, really up there. And then all of a sudden, boom, they crash. Right? So mm -hmm. Satan goes after the people that present themselves as innocent. And mm -hmm. that is like his prime target. And like you guys are completely like so many people are so unaware of this. And it's just because they they see this target and they're like, OK, this person's presenting God or she talks a little bit about God or she she says like she's got good morals and good ethics. And all of a sudden, all these Christian people are like, yeah, it's OK. You can listen to her. You can listen to her. And then all these followers are following her. And then all of a sudden, before you know it, bam, she crashes hard and you're performing satanic rituals at your concert. And you're like completely unaware and like parents are still thinking, oh, it's just Taylor Swift, send her kids there. Like, and people ask me all the time. They're like, they're like, Brian, is heavy metal music so bad? Is it the devil? Is it the devil? And I want to be like, dude, no, Taylor Swift is probably worse. And you don't even recognize the problem. Like people just right. don't, it's just so, it's so, it's so hidden. And the secret, the secret hidden agenda is more worse than the one that's right there in your face sometimes yeah yeah a hundred percent because that's what i'm saying because it's like mm -hmm. it's like if you went to see black sabbath well i mean obviously it's a, that was a long time yeah. ago but if, the point is if you went to go see mm -hmm. like some some if you saw marilyn manson and you're like you know what obviously mm -hmm. you know who you know what you're going to get when you go see yeah them. i i do think that like there so many of us who have been told this world is so you know seem so agnostic for the most part oh there's like there's the good, you know, there's church and then the devil's way over here making, you know, pentagrams and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. He would never, he wouldn't use something like Taylor Swift. I mean, like, why would he do yeah. that? And it's, of course, like the devil's not stupid. That's exactly why he would use Taylor Swift and not yes. just Marilyn Manson, because he doesn't mm -hmm. want you to see him coming. And I think that's yep. ultimate. And, and, and so I, to go, to take mm -hmm. this back to a biblical, like a biblical story, what made me think of, I almost instantly thought of this was like that the story of Balaam from the book of numbers. So if you guys aren't aware, Balaam was this, was the one who was trying to, he was getting paid by, um, who was it? Um, Namor? Namor? Was it? It was it. Yeah. Name. I, oh yeah. I think, yeah. Something like that. He was, he was trying to, he was trying to get him to curse, to curse, they, Israel. curse the, yeah, curse Israel as they were marching mm -hmm. in. And it's like Balaam tried three times and he was, and he was trying to do it for money, but he could not curse what God had blessed. So he ended up blessing the Israel. Yeah. Yeah, but, multiple that. It's funny. but you know what? But the one thing Balaam knew, mm -hmm. which the devil knows is he knew how to get them to curse themselves. And that's, mm -hmm. and that's the same for us where it's like, God had told you all these things to know, to do, and then things not to do. And so like, so that's how the devil devil can trick you is he influences you to do the things that God said, don't do. And therefore there's punishment along with this. So what, mm -hmm. what what Balaam did was he tricked the Israelites through like sexual immorality and things like that. To sleep with their women, with the other to, women. To go to this to go to this festival that mm -hmm. was literally worshiping Baal, Baal of Peor, and so like mm -hmm. and so obviously all those all those Israelites who went there, they got death. They got death, and, and it was like and so they so so the interesting part of that story is like that they, they were deceived. That they didn't realize they were worshiping Baal, okay? Mm -hmm. But they knew they weren't doing the good thing. So, but like, but they weren't deceived into thinking they weren't doing something wrong. And I think that's the same thing where it's like, we, if you went to that Taylor Swift concert, you you know you're you know this is not mm -hmm. of God, but you don't think you're worshiping Satan. 
like, oh, of course not. Yeah. I'm not worshiping Satan. Yes, you. Yes, are. you are. Yes, you are. Yes, when, you are. When you, when you sure. are, when you are singing along with those lyrics, mm-hmm. when you, when you are, when you are mm-hmm. taking part in, when you're, when you're raising up your mm-hmm. phone, like you know, you see everyone raising up the lights in the thing. Mm-hmm. That's worship. It's worship. Yeah. You're giving your worth yeah. and care well, to that. One hundred percent. You are. That mm-hmm. is I, that you. But is it if you paid nine hundred and fifty dollars to go see Taylor Swift and you're singing every lyric and you're and you're crying at the end, that is I guess first of all, you ain't throwing nine hundred fifty dollars in the offering plate, are you? You're not no. giving you're not giving nine hundred fifty dollars to somebody in need, mm-hmm. are you? <laughs> no, funny. you are thinking about that concert. You're meditating mm-hmm. on it, and then mm-hmm. obviously you're putting all your emotional energy into it. And you know what you get in return? You get cursed. Demons. You get demons. demons. Yeah. It's like it's. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Our adversary is not stupid. Yeah, that's why we say yeah. you got to be sober and vigilant. I mean, because like seriously, mm-hmm. that this is this is the result. And and don't bl- don't let anyone tell you that this is normal to not remember things when you're completely dead sober yeah. going to a Taylor Swift concert. Mm-hmm. It's not and something. Something else to point out is that like when uh, when it comes to like desires of the flesh like you may think oh i just going and listen to this music because it because i like it it's not against god i like it well remember what jesus said to uh peter when he said get or peter paul uh peter yeah, right peter. When he said mm-hmm. get thee behind me satan yeah. okay he said get thee behind me satan when peter had an innocent thought okay he thought lord lord surely they're not going to kill you i'll save yeah. you i'll protect mm-hmm. you and he said get thee behind me satan and you know what the rest of the verse that says it says for you do not have the concerns of god but merely human concerns yeah. so what does that tell you that tells you that demonic things can also be human concerns and people are so you need to wake up to it and realize that that like demonic things are just the same as your fleshly desires yeah that's, that's a good that's a good point because it's like because a, a lot of us would have been the same position because you're thinking like, P- yeah, Peter wasn't necess- he wasn't really saying that because he was like a bad person, but it was like, no, but obviously Jesus's mission was of the spirit. And yeah. And, and, and so mm-hmm. what the, what the apostles wanted and with a lot of people who obviously end up crucifying uh, Jesus wanted was him to be king right now to give them all the things they wanted. They wanted to rule with him. They wanted all the money. They wanted all the things to go with being the Lord, being the Lord's buddy but they obviously didn't want to give up the things of this, of this world. And like a lot of people, pro- I, of course I saw in our comments when we were putting some of these videos out there was, Oh gosh, now I can't go see Taylor Swift. Right. And I'm like, well, you can, I mean, like you could, you, like, I didn't say you can't do it, but I mean, you know, you shouldn't <laughs> like you. So now you, you admitted that you shouldn't. And so if you do go, mm-hmm. obviously you have to square that with God. But I mean, ultimately it's like, mm-hmm. we, like you be warned like obviously be warned because we're like now now we can my people perish for lack of knowledge so now you got the knowledge i would never go to a taylor swift concert and i would recommend that nobody goes like because like it says it you're you're participating in rituals now you know now you're made aware absolutely and like i said when you when you combine Mm -hmm. that with Mm -hmm. like with like actual witchcraft and obviously i think mk ultra Mm -hmm. had a lot of that involved anyways i think what what we know about we know more about the sciencey things they did but like when you look at what they do, it's like you go to these concerts. Obviously, we say you're susceptible to things when music influences you. Like, yep, look, this, this woman, is. this woman was a doctor in in in, in music psychology, mm-hmm. guys. So just think about that. So like probably so demons. This, so yeah, <laughs> exactly. So so the music influences you, but then mm-hmm. they have all the all the lights, the costumes. Like I mean, like when you go to these, one of these concerts, all the strobe lights and the things like it. You don't like this stuff is very coordinated. Do you imagine how much money goes into planning this stuff? And it's like, and it's, all it's, of it, all of it is in design to influence you in some kind of way. Yep. It's designed to be a false influence of the spirit of God, to be completely honest. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to create a moment of awe for you because that moment of awe where you go, Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm at this concert witnessing this person that I idolize and worship. Okay. You give worship to all of a sudden is right here and the lights and the timing and the sound. And then, uh, and you're just like, ah, and then that's the moment you've opened yourself up and the demons go right in and they may not affect you right now, but wait, just wait. Like your behaviors will start to shift. Like things will start to change. Maybe bad cur- uh, like curses and things will start happening in your life. Like things will just start failing. Relationships will start failing. Like th- this kind of stuff happens because you just opened yourself up to a Taylor Swift's 
satanic ritual demons and you don't even know it and again she may not even know it guys no again, she no. may not even know it well like i said she's a she's a mm -hmm. muse as well i mean obviously mm -hmm. she she like a lot of people would say she sold her soul and of course yep. i i it's so funny how often this comes up in the comment sections where it's like you can't really sell your soul and it's like well jesus said what does it profit a man if he if he gains the whole world and, and forfeits his soul and it says what can a person trade what can a man trade for his soul so like literally she, she that i mean that would be what we would perceive as selling your soul i mean so like whether it's literal or it's like figurative either way we you know what we're talking about but yep. either way taylor swift has gained all these things guess what whatever whatever fans mm -hmm. gain by being a swifty and isn't that kind of interesting when it's like okay so we're we're christians because obviously we're followers of christ we're not if, you're call, if you're calling if you're calling yourself a swifty you can't both you can't be a I'm sorry. You know what? I'm going to say can't serve two masters. you cannot be a Swifty and also be a follower of Christ. No, like, you, you know can't serve two masters. And I can't, and I'm, it's not saying you, you can't like us like a song by Taylor Swift because it's like, like that's the whole, that's the dangerous part is because some of the music is good. I mean, even, even as Brian and I like it's break down, the music, catchy. we break down the music and it's like, I mean, I can't help but think like, man, they really are influencing me because it's like hard to get that stuff out of my head after I'm listening to oh, it. Oh, dude, so, after listening to it, it's like stuck in my head for like the last four days or three days or whatever. It was just like ringing in my head over and over, just trying to like just analyze it. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. I, mean, I, don't, listen, I don't even listen to music anymore. Honestly, like like the more closer I've like started to like serve the Lord, like I've recognized spells so much that to the point where it's like, I don't even want to listen to music. It's so weird because like I don't even like a lot of a lot of my behaviors started to like just fall off but that's because i'm dealing with like like severe demonic stuff when i'm casting demons out i can't have even an ounce of well of, i mean of questionable I, things for me obviously but. when you have like psalm you have psalms and hymns mm -hmm. and i think that's the whole that's the whole reason like that like something a psalm would be good because it's like what we're supposed to do is meditate on god's word but like that's the whole point it's like that like i'm meditating on like the song karma not because i want to but yeah. because it because it's like repeating in my head when I was like, I don't want to be thinking about that song. So, I mean, that, yep. like you said, again, remember mm -hmm. and just think about what it said is like that you might not remember at the show. But when that song plays, all of a sudden those those memories are flooding back into you and you're like memories or demons. Now <laughs> you really understand like the power of this music. But anyways, I, mm -hmm. I think that's kind of all I got. You got any closing yeah. thoughts on this, Brian? Now nah, is it, man? I covered it all. <laughs> yeah, but I, we just want to say, guys, like that, that. Again, pray, like, for, pay for, pray for Taylor Swift, guys. And pray, Do not pray hate for, her. Pray for yeah. the Swifties. Okay. And and you know what? And this is like, and and I and I pray that you mm -hmm. guys like understand. Like we do some of these things, mm -hmm. and we joke, we we make we we laugh, and we we do these videos. This is serious stuff. But also at the same time, like you know what? When you're trying to wake somebody up, it is interesting. Like the the analogies of like trying to wake somebody up when they're sleepwalking. It's like supposedly dangerous. Be careful mm. how you share about like the people who are claimed to be Swifties and stuff like that. Don't tell them you're you can't be a, like really just start to start to share some of the stuff mm. and say, hey, did you did you see what's going on there? Did you mm. see that thing that Willow performance? Isn't that a little bit weird? Like plant seeds like the God, the <laughs> father will draw them out of that mm. if obviously he's going to plant them. So like just remember, it's like always remember, like that we're still supposed to share truth in love. So so don't yeah. try to be as abrasive as you can just. Do your that's best good. to just just to, don't condemn. Don't condemn. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, that's the Bible what says not to actually. It that's says what, condemn not. So that's what I said. Because a lot of these people are are deceived. So don't like, you know, so it's it, people don't like to admit that. So just remember, just the same way Taylor Swift is deceived, pray for her as well. Yep. Pray for Taylor Swift. That's all but I'm gonna say. But anyways, <laughs> guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh breakdown. If you guys want to see more of this, I think Brian and I have been have been mentioning. Hey, we're going to start decoding more things. So if you guys got mm -hmm. videos you guys want to talk about, we're going to do that. And obviously hit us up in the comments, like, share, subscribe. I know that's lame to say that, but we got to say that because, because yeah, please. the algorithm <laughs> stinks. But anyways, guys, love you. Uh, talk to you guys soon.